Today in our 2012 Ford F-150, we're going to be installing Pacer's Performance High 5 truck cap lights. You can get these with incandescent bulbs using part number PP20-225 or with LED bulbs with part number PP20-226. These lights are designed to look like factory 1980 to 1998 cab lights for Ford vehicles. These lights will add a unique look to your vehicle, so if you're looking to stylize it to your taste, you can get that look you're looking for. LEDs typically last longer than your typical incandescent bulb as they don't have any filaments that can be broken or overloaded. They're easy to use. You can either wire it up to your factory parking lights or you could use the included switch to have the option to turn it on and off whenever you'd like, even when your vehicle is sitting stationary with the key off. The light dimensions are five and a half inches long, three and a half inches wide, and one and a half inches tall. On the bottom of each light is a rubber foam seal that'll help conform to your roof and keep out any moisture from entering the cab. To begin our installation, we're gonna start by drilling the holes for our lights. You can help use the lights as a template. You'll wanna find the center first, and then you can space your lights evenly or however you see fit. I've gone ahead and drilled out the holes for our center one and the ones around it. We're gonna drill our last one here. We'll be using an eighth inch drill bit to do that. You want to be careful not to go down too far with your drill bit as you can poke a hole in your headliner. Well, now I want to find the center of the holes we drilled out. And we're going to mark that. And we're going to drill that out as well with an eighth inch drill bit. And that's where we'll poke down our power wire. You repeat this for each remaining light. We'll now prepare our light to install. You want to insert your LED or incandescent bulb inside its socket. We'll then insert that into our light. Just line up the openings there. Slide it in and then give it a twist. That'll hold it in. Our ground wire will go off to one side where the opening is here. And we're gonna slide a screw through that. And now to seal it up, where our holes are here, we're going to cut a little bit of butyl tape. You can pick up some butyl tape here at eTrailer.com. We're just going to use a couple of small pieces to seal all that up. Just going to slide that butyl tape down on our screw. We're going to poke our other screw through, do the same thing with the butyl tape. We'll take our wire and push that down the center hole. Once you've got that mostly fed in, take some butyl tape and we're going to wrap that around it to seal that up. And now we'll just insert our screws into the holes we drilled out. We'll then use a Phillips head screwdriver to tighten it down. And we'll repeat that with our remaining four lights. All right, next we'll show you how we routed our wiring. We did have to drop our headliner a little bit, so you have to take your visors off and pull your center overhead console down if you have it. This just pops down, you just pull it and it comes off. There's some Phillips head screws that hold your visors in, just take those out. And you can get your headliner down a little bit for some more room. You'll then take the red wires that we pushed through the roof, and we're gonna connect all those together using the quick splices that come in your kit. It may be necessary if you use additional wire, depending on the spacing between your lights to make them connect to one another. Now you have a couple options where you're gonna run your wire. The kit comes with a switch that you could mount somewhere on your dash or anywhere, but we're gonna route our wiring over into our parking lights. So that way, whenever we turn our parking lights on, our lights are gonna come on up there. So to get this over to where our parking lights are gonna connect, we're gonna run all the way across our driver's side. Once we get over there, you are gonna need an extended length of wire. So we're gonna connect a wire there. We're gonna route that out to our engine compartment to make our connection. Now we'll route our wiring down our A pillar here. Once we get down to about this point, we can pull this panel up and we're just gonna tuck that wire in back behind that panel, making sure you get it below the clip there so we don't pinch it. Put that back in. Now take your weather stripping and just push that back into place. Now down on our driver's side, lower left kick panel here, we're gonna take the rest of the red wire that comes in our kit that we routed down our A-pillar. We're gonna connect it to a fish wire and use that to pull it into our engine compartment. We poked our fish wire through the grommet located here. 
on our lower left firewall area. If the grommet comes out of its mounting location, that's okay. We're just gonna get our wire pulled through and then we can reseat that grommet. Now here in our engine compartment, we're gonna pull the rest of that wire through our grommet here. And we're just gonna push that grommet back in place once we get it pulled through. Now we routed our wire from our grommet over to our fuse box here. The brown wire located here is where we're going to be connecting it. And this is our trailer tail lamp circuit, so this way whenever we have our parking lights on, it'll light up our lights. We'll use our last splice that comes with our kit to make that connection. So we're just going to separate that out, push both the wires in the splice, we're going to close that shut, make sure we squeeze it down tight so that way it makes a good connection. Now you can just go back and clean up all your wiring with some zip ties. Now there aren't any provided with your kit, but you can pick some up here at eTrailer.com. A switch is included with your kit that you can use to wire it up to manually turn them on and off whenever you'd like. We opted to not use the switch in our installation because our customer didn't want the switch mounted on their dash anywhere, causing additional holes to be drilled. So we wired it into our running lights. So when you turn your parking lights on or your headlights, they'll come on. And this is what our lights look like when they're installed. And that completes our installation of Pacer Performance's High 5 truck cab lights on our 2012 Ford F-150.